hello please subscribe and like for our channel thanks very much okay so in this tutorial we are asking you to describe the lesion give the diagnosis and list the etiologies so now i'm not going to speak about again the hsa examination because still on our youtube channel we have done all on HSA interpretation is it clear so they are going to directly go to the specific abnormalities so they say describe the lesion in this say in this case you see a <clears throat> when the <clears throat> when you are asking you to describe a chest x-ray is it clear for pathologies for the pathologies of chest x-ray you try to visualize the a b c d mnemonics a for you visualize the airway if there is any shift or deviation of the trachea is it clear and you also visualize the level of the helium if you can see the three bronchi on the right side and you see two bronchi on the left side those are all the elements on the airway b is for breathing if you can visualize if they they you can visualize the different lung fields is it clear you can visualize the different lung fields and if there's any hyperdensity or hypodensity of the different lung fields c is a cardiac silhouette is it clear? And then D is the diaphragm. So those are the different things that you have to visualize. Now, when they say describe this X-ray, is it clear? You can see a homogeneous. When you use the term homogeneous, meaning it's white everywhere, white without any dark. Why heterogeneous is white and dark in um, in um, um, in in cons consensuality. Is it clear? So now you can see a homogeneous opacity. So describe this lesion. In this lesion, you have a homogeneous opacity in the right, uh, right lower lung field. So you have a homogeneous opacity in the right lower lung field. That's one. The second element, you have what? You have the blunting of the cosophrenic angle. Is it clear? You have the meniscus sign. Is it clear? So you have the homogeneous opacity in the right lower lung thing. You have blunt of the cosophrenic angle. You have the meniscus sign. Is it clear? So those are the lesions that you can visualize. And there's another lesion that I can see. You may not see, but I can see that lesion very well. And that's going to be telling you the pathology in this case. So you can also visualize um, a heterogeneous opacity in the right lower lung field. You can the directly above the meniscus sign. The meniscus sign is as if there's a small meniscus like that. Directly above that meniscus sign, you have a heterogeneous opacity. And I think that that heterogeneous opacity is coming as a sort of a, a consolidation from pneumonia or any other um, cause of the, the, the pleural effusion. So the diagnosis here is pleural effusion. Is it clear? Now, they say list five etiologies. Now, you need to know that what <clears throat> generally when they're asking you for a theory of pleural effusion, you have to divide pleural effusion into two. You have exudative pleural effusion and you have transudative pleural effusion. Are you understanding? Now, for exudative pleural effusion, so you have exudative pleural effusion, you have transudative pleural effusion. Now, for exudative pleural effusion, what you have to note is that what the etiologies are much more local. And exudative pleural effusion is much more associated with what? It's a pleural effusion that is on a unilateral side, that's on one side. Is it clear? Now, transudative pleural effusion is associated with a systemic infection and then the etiologies are the, the pleural effusion is on bilateral side on both sides though the pleural effusion still of systemic like in the case of heart, um, heart failure can be more on the right side than the left side but still going to be on both sides is it clear? So now when they say list the five etiologies, divide into two, exit and transit pleural effusion. And now the criteria that helps you to know if it's exit and transitive, you use the light criteria. And the light criteria, there are three major elements of the light criteria. You have the serum, um, the serum, um, the serum albumin to the pleural effusion albumin level. That's one element of the light criteria. The second element of the light criteria is the serum um, lactate dehydrogenase to the um, the, the the pleural eff the, the efficient lactate dehydrogenase level. And then the third element now is you know, for the light criteria is um, the absolute value of the the lactogenase the lactogenase level inside the the the, the efficient. Is it clear? So those are the different elements. So if you want to know more on that, ask on the comments and I'm going to send it to you. So now to, to list the five etiologies, I'm going to take now for exudative pleural effusion. Is it clear? Local causes like pneumonia. Is it clear? You have infection like pneumonia. You have tuberculosis. Is it clear? You have even um, aspergillus. Aspergillus infection. Is it clear? It can cause pleural effusion. Now, the other things now, you have um, malignancies. 
like in the case of a mesothelioma, like in the case of a lung cancer, in the case of autoimmune diseases, like in the case of systemic lipos erythematosus, autoimmune diseases, or other autoimmune diseases like a dermatomyositis or a systemic sclerosis. Is it clear? Now, other things that can cause again after autoimmune disease, you have traumatic. Is it clear? Trauma can also cause a pleural infection as a result of an inflammation. Is it clear? So, those are the different causes of a, 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 a pleural infection that is exudative. Now, for transudative causes of pleural infection, you have things like heart failure, you have things like um, kidney failure in the case of nephrotic syndrome, you have things like um, liver failure. Is it clear? And you have things like malnutrition. So those are the different um, systemic causes of pleural infusion. Or if it's not malnutrition, it can be a protein, a protein entero, a protein loss enteropathy. Is it clear? So those are the different things that you have you have to speak about in this case. So from here we are finished with the tutorial and we say thanks for your kind attention and please don't forget to like and subscribe for our channel. Thanks very much. Hello, purchase your book, medical book health science book, physics book, computer science book, all from us on 652-65-9429. And please don't forget to like and subscribe for our two channels, Science Video Makers and Essential Baby. Let me say the number again, 6569 that is a place where you're going to have all these books. As you can see, we have the computer science book, which is shown in this image. You can see this is all the example of the computer science book all inside. You have all this. We have the medical book for the first year, second year, third year, all available with all the explanation and questions. We have the physical examination book with all the step-by-step -step physical examination. This is the workbook for medical third year. The workbook for medical third year. This is the first year workbook. This is the second year workbook. As you can see, this is the, the second year textbook. All this we have on the no contact 652-659429. Thanks very much.